Boysville's mission is to provide a loving home for boys and girls in the San Antonio area. These are children who have been abandoned, abused, or neglected. And here we try to give them a chance at life, a chance at a normal life. The way Boysville started in 1943, the Reverend Don Holloman, downtown San Antonio, began providing a home for boys that were homeless, that were living on the street. And the San Antonio Optimus Clubs and Kiwanis Clubs then helped him buy a bigger home in downtown on Avenue A. Then in 1963, Boysville transitioned down to where Randolph Brooks Credit Union sits over by Rolling Oaks Mall now. And we're there for 20 years. And in 1983, the developers wanted some of that property and uh, we moved here. So we've been here for 30 years. We have 78 beautiful acres, uh, 16 structures, uh, eight major cottages for our children. So we're very blessed. We had the 4-H the program where, you know, I raised a hog for the first time. I raised a little lamb. And so that, that was an awesome experience from coming from the city of Houston. You know, that wasn't going to happen in Houston. When you see all the people that are out there that went through something that was here that I was associated with and their successes and, and the attitudes and their, their life, what that has turned out to be. And for most of them, it's, you know, it's, it's really been something special. And for me, it's even more special because I feel that each one of those got something from what I was able to give them in the process. The first girls' uh, uh, residence here was in 1986. And that's something that I always have to explain when I go out and speak to people. Oh, we thought you were all boys. We've had girls for 30 years and 50% of our population is girls. Boys will quickly um, made us all feel comfortable and safe here. And um, being able to you know, have games and have this, you know, other friends that you knew you were gonna see every day and be able to go swimming. And it was, it was easy to um, find this place comfortable for, for us. And then uh, plus I knew that I, we had a place to sleep at night. The second big misnomer is they think we're a home for delinquent children, and we're not. We're a home for children that are coming from situations of abuse and neglect, or sometimes just adject uh, uh, poverty even. We're the only place around that will take an infant and put them through college. It's a caring, safe place for children to grow up and become responsible adults. It means uh, seeking gainful employment, uh, having a family, and children, a healthy relationship, whether it's uh, here or far away, because we do have uh, residents that are off in the military and we hear about their relationships with their families. And not having their children come back through our system, to me, that is success. To hold some of these children in your arms and realize kind of some of the, the things they've been through in their, in their very short and young lives, and to realize the impact that having spent an hour or two hours with them can really make on, make on them, it, it's pretty amazing. They came to my choir concert, and they've been to multiple of them, and I was so happy and so pleased with them because I asked them to come. I didn't think, at first I didn't think they were gonna come because my mom never came. And then when they came, like I started to cry because I was so happy, like they supported me. Seeing these kids have the opportunity to grow and develop is, I, I, there's nothing, nothing better. There's nothing that's more exciting or more important that I can think of. It, it is a great organization to take kids who uh, have come from low income or dysfunctional families, kids maybe who have been abused, kids who have been removed from, by Child Protective Services, and it gives them a place for them to go it keeps the family members intact, the, 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 the child and their sibling. It, it is a great place. I mean, it's, a, you know, their cost for, for doing this because they put them in home setting is a lot more than other locations, but the results are extremely positive in the end. The need is, is huge, and we've got a, a real challenge to provide for the finances that it's going to take to continue to provide for the children. But we've got a good team. We've got a great mission, we've got a terrific staff, and we have a great opportunity to provide for the kids. So we have continually evolved. I see the next evolution as continuing to look to see where is the need and, 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 and putting ourselves in a position 
whether it's financially, our physical plant, our staff, to respond to that need. Boysville is a place where that changes lives. Happy place for kids to enjoy their life and grow up to be mature adults. Everybody had patience with me. When I wanted to give up, they didn't get up. They didn't give up on me. They want to help. You can feel it here when you're here. You know, it's it's a, it's a, brings it. It gets you goosebumps. At times, I take this place for granted, but I shouldn't. I just want to say thank you to Boyce. This is home. I feel comfort here. Um, I walk in and I'm at peace again. This is a really good place, and um, they have your best interest at heart. And they want to help you with your future to turn your life around, and that's what it's done for me. I couldn't be any more grateful for this place because without experiencing here, I wouldn't be the person I am today.